Hi guys, this video is going to cover um, 5-3 triangle similarity word problems. So we're still in the similarity unit, but we're focusing more so on word problems here than anything else. So we're going to start with a little bit of notes before we run into some uh, common core questions or questions that might show up on a common core exam. The first part says that we may set up proportions to solve word problems with missing lengths since the uh, triangles are similar. So we've got this first example. It says a person is 5 foot 3 inches tall and casts a shadow of 12, not 12 feet, where am I getting 12 from, of 6 feet. So 5 foot 3 person, 6 foot shadow. At the same time of day, a lamppost casts an 18 foot shadow. What is the height of the lamppost? Now because we're looking for the height of the lamppost, I'll choose to call it X. So you can see here that the picture was actually already drawn for us. So here we've got a picture of a person. 5.25 feet, 6 foot shadow. Picture of a lamppost, x feet, 18 foot shadow. So typically we um, set up a proportion here with something like the height over the shadow. As long as you're being consistent with the proportion that you set up, it doesn't actually matter how you do it as long as, again, you're consistent. So we'll go with the man and then we'll go with the lamppost. 5.25 over 6 foot shadow equals height x over shadow 18. So of course here we can just simply cross multiply. 6x equals 18 times 5.25 and then you just simply solve for x by dividing. Okay. Now with conversions, um, I like to do them with proportions also, uh, where there's 12 inches to 1 foot, 100 centimeters to 1 meter, and 3 feet to 1 yard. These are things that you have to memorize. They are not on the reference sheet. They do give you some conversions, but they don't give you all of them, especially the basic ones. And then we have this tricky type of problem where it says that if we have a line that's parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the two other sides, then it divides the sides proportionally. So you can see here that we're looking for the height of the flagpole, and we already chose to call it x, as you can see in the picture. And we know that this flagpole is parallel to this person. We don't have to um, be told that in order to assume it. Now it tells us that the person is six feet tall. And the flagpole's shadow, right here, is 85 feet long. And the person is standing 75 feet from the shadow, or from the flagpole. So our goal is to find the height of the flagpole. And if I were to redraw these pictures, then we have the flagpole with its shadow, a height of x, a shadow of 85. And then we have the person with a height of 6 and some shadow length here. This blue piece here at the bottom for his shadow is the same as this blue piece here from his feet towards the edge of the shadow, the tip of the shadow, which means that I have to take 85 and subtract away 75. 85 minus 75 leaves me with a shadow length of 10. Now from here we can set up a proportion, again going with height over shadow, equals height over shadow. So 6 over 10 equals x over 85. Remember that this 10 is coming from the fact that we took 85 minus 75 in order to get that person's shadow length because we have a triangle that's similar right here. And then of course again cross multiplying to solve. Number one says that we have a telephone pole that's 10 meters tall and it casts a shadow of 8 meters long. So here's my telephone pole. I don't really know how to draw a telephone pole. It looks more like a pitchfork. That telephone pole is 10 meters tall and it casts a shadow of 8 meters. At the same time, a tree nearby casts a shadow of 14 meters long. How tall is the tree? So I'm choosing to make these both into triangles. I'm looking for the height of the tree, so I called it x. And again, we're going to go with height over shadow equals height over shadow. So something like 10 
over 8, height of the telephone pole over shadow of the pole, equals height of the tree over shadow of the tree. Go ahead, take a minute, pause the video, cross multiply and solve. When you're done solving, um, then play the video again, of course, to see if that you're, you're correct. Okay, so I found the height of the tree to be 17.5. Number two, we have this person, Sandy, that's standing um, 42 inches away from a mirror. I totally just skipped a bunch of sentences. Sorry. Sandy is trying to measure the height of a nearby flagpole using a mirror as shown in the diagram below. So our mirror is right here in the center. Well, it's not really the center, but it's that piece that's kind of darker at the bottom. Mirror. The mirror is 42 inches away from Sandy and 78 inches away from the flagpole. The height to her eyes is 62 inches. So from bottom to top is 62 inches, just on her, her side there. And it says, from which she can clearly see the top of the flagpole. How many inches tall is the flagpole? So we're looking for how tall the flagpole is, which we're going to call X. You can see that that's already denoted on the picture. So in order to do this, we're going to think about similar triangles. I'm just going to make this X a little bit bigger for us. And we can, again, still go with height over shadow. So the girl's height is 62 inches. It's not her height, but it's her eyesight. And that's okay. That's what we're measuring from. Over her shadow, except it's not a shadow. It's the distance from the mirror. Equals height of the flagpole over distance from the mirror. Or in this case, I guess we could talk about shadows. Again, pause the video. Hit play when you're ready to see if your answer is correct. Okay, so I found the height of the flagpole to be 115.143. Um, it does not say to round to any um, particular decimal place or to any whole f uh, inch. So we're just going to leave it as 0.143. Number three, we've got a tree that has a height of four meters and casts a shadow of 1,500 centimeters long on the ground. So we have this tree, the height is four meters, the shadow is 1,500 centimeters. Then we have another tree that's casting a shadow of 20 meters long and we're looking for the height to the nearest meter. Notice it says to the nearest meter which means that any other units we have here need to be converted. So in this case the 1500 needs to be converted. Convert to meters. And if you're wondering how I chose meters again the question says how tall to the nearest meter is another tree. So in order to convert to meters, um, like I said earlier, I like to do proportions. So something like 100 centimeters for every 1 meter is equal to 1,500 centimeters for every x meters. And all we do is just cross multiply. So here we have times x times 1. 100x equals 1500. Then I'm dividing by 100 and we get x equals 15. Now that's not the x that we were solving for, that's just replacing this 1500 centimeters with 15 meters. So then our second step is to actually solve for height. If this x right here that we just found is confusing you, change it to a y. And maybe call this y over here, because that's what we just found. So solving for the height, we're going to go with height over shadow. It's the easiest option. So 4 over 15 equals x over 20. Pause the video, cross multiply and solve. Hit play when you're ready to see that you're right.
All right, so I found x to be 5.33333 going on forever and ever and ever. But notice in the directions it says round to the nearest meter. That's a, a whole number, nearest meter. So a whole number here, take the 5, look at the 3. The 3 is telling us to keep the 5 the way it is. So x equals 5. Nearest whole meter would be 5. Go ahead and flip it over. we got a couple more questions. Okay, I lied. Just one more question together, and then the rest of it is practice just for you. So here, number four came straight from a Common Core exam. It says that a flagpole casts a shadow of 16.6 .6 meters long. So here's my flagpole casting a shadow of 16.60. .60. Tim stands at a distance of 12.45 meters from the base of the flagpole. So here's Tim standing 12. 0.45 meters from that flagpole. Tim is 1.65 meters tall. And it says determine and state the height of the flagpole to the nearest tenth of a meter. Now you might be wondering how all of this is connected, but what we can do is make this into a beautiful triangle where the whole base is 16.6 .6, and we're looking for the height of the flagpole, say x. This is that case where we have one big triangle, x, 16.6, .6, 0. And then we have one small triangle with 1.65 and some missing value right here. But remember that that missing value comes from taking this whole 16.6 .6 and subtracting off 12.45 to give you this remaining piece. So step 1, 16.6, .6, minus 12.45. Go ahead and type that in on your calculator. So we end up with 4.15 and I'm just going to carry that over onto both of my pictures. So now that I have my picture set up properly, I have one triangle for the flagpole and then I have a smaller triangle for my person. And again, we're just going to go with height over shadow. So height of, say, the flagpole, x over shadow, 16.60, .60, equals height of Tim, 1.65, over height or length of the shadow, 4.15. Make sure that you are using the 4.15 and the 16.60 and not the 12.45, we don't need it anymore. Pause the video so that you can do this work on your own, then double check with me to make sure that you're right before you move on to practice, please. All right, so final answer here is 6.6. .6. It says round into the nearest tenth, and your calculator actually already did that for you. So 6.6 .6 should be your final answer for the height of this flagpole. The rest of the time is yours to work on practice, so please make sure that you are going back and reviewing the video, reviewing your notes as you move on to the practice in order to be successful.